call me old fashioned, but I love print media. I grew up reading newspapers and magazines, and when I studied journalism in university, I did so with dreams of someday founding a magazine of my own. Of course, times change and print is fast dying, but that doesn't mean we should forget it entirely. And that's why I've started Polyphonic Magazine. What is Polyphonic Magazine? It's a newsletter and a Nebula original series, a multimedia experiment to maybe try to recapture some of the excitement of getting your favorite music rags in the mail. You can kind of think of it as the bastard love child of a video essay and a fanzine. If you sign up to my newsletter in the description, you'll get Polyphonic Magazine sent to your inbox every month. There you'll get little articles that I could never turn into a full video. You'll get a monthly playlist and recommendations for other media that I've been enjoying. Maybe even album reviews eventually. To be honest, it's all still a bit of an experiment. And part of that experiment is the second half of Polyphonic Magazine. Every month when the newsletter goes out, its cover story will release on Nebula. That cover story will be a full video essay profiling an artist that I think is doing cool things right now. And these videos will be visual homages to the beauty of magazine cover spreads, living feature pieces where type can breathe. Hopefully, this can be a way of carrying on the great tradition of indie presses in music. Honestly, this is kind of a dream project for me, and the kind of thing that just couldn't work on YouTube, where it would be a lot harder to focus on these smaller artists that haven't drawn algorithmic attention. So for that, I want to thank everyone who's already supporting me on Nebula for helping to make this possible. And if you're sitting on the fence, well, I hope Polyphonic Magazine can push you over it. The late 2010s and early 2020s have become an era defined by seismic shifts in the world. Naturally, artists have responded. In the midst of this aesthetic moment, an unlikely voice has emerged as one of the most exciting new artists working today. Her name is Backwash. It came up from the darkness, stole my people for me. Now was the mission, holy exercise the weapons on me. Criticism of religion is one of the biggest themes that permeates Backwash's work. Embracing her heritage was not just a musical experiment, but a visual one as well. Whatever Backwash has in store for the future will be spectacular and terrifying. If that got you excited, make sure to sign up to the newsletter with the link in the description. And don't worry, you won't have to wait long, because Polyphonic Magazine drops tomorrow.